Hello, YouTube Stacking Ohana. This is Aloha Stacker, and welcome back to another video. Today we have a short one for you with a couple things to show off. But first, I want to say uh, we have hit 657 subscribers as the filming of this video. Can we get to 700 before the end of January? I think we can, and I appreciate y'all's support helping me get there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start real quick with a quick plug about uh, the Aloha round. Uh, don't forget that these are available on Silversmith Shield's website. This is the standard round stamped with the beautiful hibiscus flowers on the back and uh, the unique uh, logo on the front. 999 fine silver, two ounces. And we also have the antique version. Now once these sell out, I don't know if we're gonna go ahead and create any more, but the initial run of 20 has been produced and there are only, there are less than half left now. So get them while you can. And after that, we will decide if we make any more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on and talk about the 500 subscriber guy. As you know, uh, we are every every single video I make from here on out, I'm gonna add a new uh, piece of silver. To the, so we know number one is the channel round, number one prize, followed by the number two prize is a special gift from our friend Silver Nitrate, which we'll open once we decide, or once uh, the draw runs. Number three is a half ounce Australian tiger shark from, two, from 2016. The next prize is going to be a Canadian ha silver dollar from 1966 with the canoe. And what we're going to add today is a 1967 40% Kennedy half dollar. So that is now five prizes and five people will win. Uh, we're going to keep increasing that every video. I'm hoping to get to at least 10 before we draw. We're going to start off with a couple pieces of mail. And the first one, as you can see, is from our good friend. Well, somebody from, somebody from Pittsburgh, I'm guessing. Let's find out who. Joy, love, Noel, peace. Oh, cool. That is our good friend, the Steeler Stacker, the one, the only. That is a really cool sticker. Thank you, my friend, Steeler Stacker. Oh, yeah, you know what's cool? Before we read the card, I want to show you something, because remember how I was complaining about video camera last quality last time? I think I fixed the problem. Look at, this is the toning on that Libertad from CGB Matt Coins. Okay, so you couldn't see how awesome this was. Look at the coloring on that. That is phenomenal. Look at the bluing. Okay, I just want to show that off because it was driving me crazy. And then a quick plug for our boy, PPP. Let's get him to 500 as fast as possible. Okay, let's back to the card. Aloha Stacker, I want to thank you for always supporting my channel and being a good friend. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. P.S. I'm hoping we can do a sticker trade. Yeah, well, you know we already did. You said, I sent you my stuff. I hope you got it. I hope the weather's not prohibiting my stuff from getting there in a timely manner. But if it is, okay. But it is sent. You are getting my swag. Best wishes for a wonderful holiday season and a new year filled with happiness. Merry Christmas, Steelers Tiger, Brian MC. And oh, what do, we, what do we got here? Looks like we got ourselves a piece of copper. So let us take a look at, this, at, at uh, what was sent. Ooh, it's a Mercury Dime. It's a Winged Liberty copper round. This is my first copper round that's, what's it? This is a quarter ounce. This is my first quarter ounce copper round. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And if you see right down here, there's my whole copper stack. You just earned, you're going on top. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Steeler Stacker. That is awesome. Moving on, we got another card. This one is from, let's see, let's get it open. Make sure there's nothing hidden inside. Joy to the world. Enjoy to you, my friend, whoever you may be. Merry Christmas. Rejoice in the miracle of Christmas and take comfort in his peace and grace. Wishing you a blessed Christmas and a new year. Full of promise. King and Queen Stacking. Hey, thank you very much, King and Queen Stacking. This is a wonderful card, and I really appreciate the jester. And Merry Christmas to you, and Merry Christmas to everybody in the community. Happy holidays. Whatever you celebrate, whatever you do during this time of year, I hope it's wonderful, and I hope your family gets together and has a wonderful time. And I hope that uh, I hope that 2021 brings us just a phenomenal year of great stacking, great fun, and great family, and great community. But moving on, let's go ahead and, and show off the cool stuff we have got. And the first thing we've got is an auction I won off Texas gold and silver exchange and this stand by we have some star trek a 2016 perth mint tuvalu one dollar star trek high relief first day of issue pf70 ultra cameo <laughs> star trek so this is an ngc graded star trek 2016 tuvalu coin let's look at the obverse Queen Elizabeth II, Tuvalu Dollar, 2016, one ounce, 999 silver. I a, like Star Trek. I am a fan of Star Trek. 
but I have some friends who are huge fans of Star Trek, and uh, they are going to be really super psyched that I got a coin like this. And they may be interested in collecting coins now that they've seen some, that something like this has been produced. So I hope to get them there. So that is neat. Check that out. Very, very nice. So those of you who like, uh, like I said, this is a slab and it wasn't too expensive, you know, for, for the limited mintage that it comes. Now, this, now 2016 was the 50th anniversary of the creation of Star Trek by Gene Roddenberry. Only 50,000 of these coins were made. I don't know what the, I don't know what the number is that have been encapsulated as, as a PF70. I imagine it's way lower, probably around 1,000 mark or less. Uh, this is legal tender in on Tuvalu. It, it has the USS Enterprise NCC seventeen zero one, and uh, it's very cool. I, I I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and move on to number two. So I got a package from Atmex, and and this is weird because these were not supposed. These, from what I had read, were not supposed to ship so soon. So, but they did, and I'm not gonna complain. So it's Christmas time, and we have ourselves the TEP slabbed. Oh, that's not that scratched. It must be underneath, because okay. So anyway, so this is the TEP Charlie Brown Christmas, fifty-five years, and on the back we have the same as. So if you remember, I've got the first generation coin, seventy years Charlie Brown, and now we've got the Christmas one. So we have both gener both the uh, the obverses are exactly the same. There is no change between them. They didn't make Woodstock any easier to see. I wish they would have, but they did not. <laughs> but uh, but I got I ended up getting two of these. So you know what that means. If I have two of something, we can trade. We can trade. If you're interested in purchasing it, let me know. I don't have a set price. Uh, I'd always buy two just because I like to have one extra for trade or sale. If somebody, if somebody missed out and they really want to get one, I don't know if these are still available on the website. If they are, get them while they're hot. So... I'm a big Peanuts fan. I grew up with Peanuts. I love the Charlie Brown Christmas. I watch it every, every single time this, this time of year, you know, along with a few other things. So we got ourselves some more Peanuts coins. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Atmex, for doing a series on that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and these, by the way, just so you know, have a very limited mintage of only 10,000. Now, the thing I don't understand, though, and maybe somebody can tell me in the comments, is it 10,000 in the TEP? Uh, which... Just so everybody knows, when everybody says TEP, that means uh, it's, it's just the uh, protective plasticking. Let me see what I forget what it stands for. Let me see if I can find it. It stands for tamper evident packaging. So t when everybody says TEP, it's tamper, ever, em, tamper evident packaging. But uh, they said there's only 10,000 minted. So does that mean 10,000 of, of just this style coin or 10,000 in the TEP and then 10,000 in the additional? I don't know. If somebody can clarify that, that would be really great to know. But anyway, going ahead and moving on. We picked up one more thing from Atmex, and that was something from the Wildlife series, and it's in this package. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this open while we're on screen, so we can pull it out and get a and get a better look at it, because uh, I don't see why not. This is part of the part of the collection now, so and it looks like it's got a little spotty because you know Canadian uh, old Canadian silver and their spottiness. So this is the Canadian grizzly bear. Let me see if I can. There we go, and it is from the year let's see 2011. Nice, awesome milk spots there. I do have some, you know what, since I got you guys on camera, I saw somebody use one of these to erase milk spots. This is a bullion coin. It didn't cost any extra. It doesn't hold any additional value. These were, I think there's what, a million of these minted or 500,000 of these minted? A uh, million. So there's a million of these coin. Who wants, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. Let me open up this eraser real fast while I got you guys on camera, since it doesn't want to open. There we go. And let's see if it works. I'm just, I'm actually really curious to see if we can erase milk spots with one of these, um, you know, high polymer erasers. So here's the high polymer eraser. Here's the coin. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and get, go for this. You've got to be kidding me. This is actually working. So I've used the eraser. And you, and you see that the milk spot that was right here is now gone. There's still some up at the top. Let's see. Hmm, let's see. Let's, let's keep going. This is kind of interesting. If this works, those of you who have milk spot issue, issues on some of your coins, especially your Canadian maple leaves, and because, you know, they uh, decided to... Uh, this actually is a good deal, and it works, and then we can take, the, take it later. I mean, this is a good... This couldn't really... Look at, look at the uh, coloring on the eraser. It's already, like... Let's see. How are we looking? So it looks like everywhere that I have scraped off, there is no longer any milk spotting. 
on the coin. So, okay, there's a milk spot right there. Let's see if we can, let me see what happens when I try to erase it. Now, maybe these come back, maybe they don't. Uh, I will also clean this with a afterwards, uh, but look at the milk spot's gone. So, wow. And you know who I, I saw, I think I saw Backyard Bullion do this. That's where I got the idea from. And then as soon as I found one of these erasers, I was like, you know what? We got to try this next time I get a milk spot at coin. But look at that. That is, that is wonderful. Okay, cool. So if, obviously you don't want to do this if it's a, a coin that you're looking at getting extra value out of just in case. I don't know if it's, a, I, but these erasers aren't going to scratch the coin because these erasers are actually just, I mean, they're, they're like a plastic polymer. They're not, they're not hard. If anything, the coin will scratch the eraser more than the eraser will scratch the coin. There you go. So there's a little bit of smearing there. I will clean that up later and uh, we'll explore and see how well that worked out after all, but looks like it works. Thank you, Backyard Bullion, for that piece of advice. Okay, so we got our last, uh, so that covers the purchase from Atmax. We're gonna go ahead and move on to our good friend, Guido Stacken, and he sent me a magnet. And this guy, <laughs> this guy hid this magnet underneath the, the label. He had to send me a message to remind me of this because I would have completely thrown that away. He hid it under the address label. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why, just maybe maybe because he forgot to stick it in the envelope when he shipped. He said, oh, shoot, so he stuck it under the address label. But this is cool. I don't have any of his magnets, so that's pretty I need to get a magnet board. I've got so many magnets now. You know, I, now that I've got a sticker collage board, which I'll show off in a video next year, now as it's getting really full, i got to do one for magnets, too. So we'll stick that there. So with Guido, I picked up, I was able to get, let me pull everything out of the bag. I don't need to keep that anymore. Okay, so Guido, as you know, does auctions every Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember which day. Uh, so come check them out because he does this bin at the end when he sells uh, silver almost at spot. So so a couple weeks ago at an auction, he had some of these uh, bison, these Canadian bison from, uh, I'm actually pull one of these out. And I was able to get five of these and I'll show you all five in a second. And I'm willing to trade or sell these if anybody's interested and they want it for their collection. This is a $5 coin. It's one and a quarter ounce from 2015. And this coin has a, an American bison on it, or Canadian, North American bison, I'm, I guess we could say. It is a beautiful coin. It's absolutely stunning. I don't see any milk spots on these coins. And this is 2015, so that was before they added the extra protection. But I got five of these. Thank you, thank you, Guido. I really appreciate it. He also sent me, it looks like a dime from 1963. Uh, looks like we got a mint mark of Denver on there. So I'll get, a, I'll get the, the description. I'll get how many were minted. Oh, by the way, these had only a mintage of 500,000. So these are a little bit more rare than the uh, the Grizzlies, which had a million. So there's a million of these. And on this wildlife, there was, uh, on this wildlife series, there's only 500,000. And I got five of them here. So I got five of them that I'm willing to trade. I'm willing to sell. If you're interested and, you're, and you want one of those for your collection, let me know because I've got, boom, I've got another four. So one, two, three, four, five. Thank you, Mr. Guido. And thank you for having those wonderful auctions. And the last thing I was able to acquire at his auction was this. And this is kind of unique. I'm not much of a bar person, but... How could I pass up Idaho silver, 10 troy ounces at, well, when I bought this uh, spot is now about $2 an ounce higher than when I bought this. So I am up 20 bucks on this bar and it says Transtector Absolute Transient Protection FDH. I have no idea what any of that means. So if you do, let me know in the description. Uh, I don't know. I, I tried to do some research on Idaho silver. I looked up everything on this bar. I couldn't find it. I couldn't even find a picture of it. Uh, I did test it because I did run it down the slide, which I'm going to show for you right now because we haven't brought the slide out in so long. So we are going to do it. Boom. We got this from our good friend, Silver Game of Thrones. Look at that. That's a 10 ounce bar. Look how slow it's moving. <laughs> I love this thing so much. This is so cool. Oh, let me, you know what? I'll do something else real quick, everybody. Let's show, that's just to show you like the angle. This is a high angle and it still moves <laughs> slow. It's so cool. Look at that. Look how slow that moves. <laughs> Boom! And just so you know the difference, for example, look at the piece. Of, look, copper moves slow too, but not as but not as as slow as silver. So copper moves down the line pretty pretty decently, right? Let's try another one. So here's copper, and what I always did was I thought it was kind of cool is you take a piece of silver, you take a piece of copper. So you drop the uh, the copper, drop the silver, nice and slow, right? But if you bring, but let's try to do that. But if you do the silver first. And then drop the copper, and then drop the copper behind it. No, I guess not. I guess in this case it's not working so good. Boom, boom, clank, clank. Anyway, still cool. Copper is still a metallic metal, it's just not as metallic as silver. Uh, but obviously the color makes the difference. So anyway, that's the last thing I got for everybody today. I really hope you uh, you enjoyed the short the shorter video. I mean, we still it looks like we still made 15 minutes, but uh, it's all good. 
Uh, I'll try to make, I'll try to keep them shorter so we get more, uh, we can kind of jam pack more in in less time and a little bit less in less time. But anyway, I hope you all have a great weekend and a great next week. Aloha, mahalo, Merry Christmas, and see you in the next video.